Lesson number 12, Accounting Equation. Hello guys! In this lesson, we are going to learn what is the accounting equation? What does the accounting equation mean? What is the accounting equation? In mathematics, equation is a statement that the values of two mathematical expressions are equal. Equation is always equal. So don't worry guys, we're not going to solve complex math problems. In accounting, there's an equation that will guide us in better understanding the relationships of assets, liabilities, and owner's equity with each other. It will also help us analyze transactions before we record them. The equation is called, not surprisingly, the accounting equation. The equation looks like this. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. As I mentioned a while back, the two expressions or sides of an equation should always be equal. So total assets should always be equal to the sum of liabilities and owner's equity. So let's say assets is 100,000 is equal to liability 70,000 pesos plus owner's equity 30,000 pesos. Assets 100,000 pesos is equal to liabilities 50,000 pesos plus owner's equity 50,000 pesos. Or assets is 100,000 pesos, so liabilities is zero, owner's equity is 100,000 pesos. It doesn't matter how the amounts are distributed as long as the two sides are equal. What's important is that the left side or the asset side is equal to the right side the liabilities and owner's equity side. We can expand the accounting equation to look like this. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's capital minus owner's withdrawal plus income minus expenses. We know that owner's equity is affected by these accounts. We can use this equation to analyze the transaction better. The accounting equation really tells us a very simple concept about doing business. In order to start and continuously operate a business, we have to have resources or assets. No business can operate without assets. So how does the business get its assets? The business gets its asset either through borrowing, represented by liabilities, or investing, represented by owner's equity. To continue our discussion, one way the business acquires assets is by using debts or by borrowing from a creditor. These liabilities will be paid later. Another way of acquiring assets is through investing. Investing can be the original investment made by the owner to start the business, or it could be the assets produced by the operation still maintained in the business to get more assets. The owner did not withdraw them, so they are sort of reinvestments. Another way of presenting how assets are acquired is by using the concept of borrowed and invested capital. Capital provided to get assets through borrowing or credit is called borrowed capital. Capital provided to get assets through investment or reinvestment is called invested capital. Assets, therefore, can be acquired either with borrowed capital or invested capital. To summarize, the accounting equation should always be equal, which is total assets should always be equal to total liabilities and owner's equity. The equation will guide us in analyzing the transactions so we can record them properly.